Hello. In our last Google Maps tutorial, we talked about creating a customized Google Map and adding place marks to that map, something that either you could do for your students or, even better yet, your students could create for themselves. But now we want to take it one step further because one of the benefits of having a customized Google Map is being able to add dynamic content, such as videos or links. So I'm going to go to Google Maps. I'm going to open up My Places. And once I open up My Places, I'll see the maps that I've already created down below. So I have one map already created called Revolutionary War Battles. I'm going to open that up at this time. Now, once the map is open, I do have to click Edit so that I can edit the items that are on the map already. And you'll notice that I have three places already identified, Battle of Yorktown, Washington's Crossing, and the Battle of Lexington. I already have found a video for Washington's Crossing that I think will benefit my students. And then I also have a link to the official state park for Washington's Crossing as well. And so I'm going to try and add those to a place mark. So if I go to Washington's Crossing and open it up, you'll notice that the only information I currently have on that place mark is the title. If you notice below the title, you have a place for plain text, rich text, which means you're able to change colors, highlight, change the font size, add a link or add a picture, and then you also have the edit HTML button. Now, to add the uh, video or embed a video into the place mark, you do need to have the URL uh, embed code so that you can put it into the file. So, I'm going to go over here to wherever, where I have already found a video that I want to link. And so I'm going to come down here to share. And I'm going to take the code for embed. I'm going to highlight that and then copy it. So once I have the embed code, I'm now going to go back to Google Maps. I need to make sure that the edit HTML feature is highlighted. I'm then going to copy and paste and then click OK. Now to see if this place mark worked, I'm going to go Done. I've now saved it. So if I go to Washington's Crossing and click on the place mark, I should see the YouTube video embedded into the place mark. So that's kind of a neat feature if you want to add some video content to a place mark and have your kids automatically see it uh, when, they, when they view the map. Now I'm going to go back to Edit and if I want to add a rich text feature, uh, first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the HTML and I'm going to remove this first. And instead if I wanted to have a link, I can go to rich text. And up here I already have the site for Washington Crossing State Park. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Go back to my Google Map. And now where it says rich text, I'm going to simply say Washington's Crossing State Park. I'm going to highlight that, click on the link button, and it's going to ask me for the link. I'm going to copy and paste that in, click OK, and then OK on the place mark. If I go to Save and Done, I can then come back to my Washington's Crossing part, and there's a link there that will now take me to that website. So just a couple neat things that you can do to add some dynamic content to your Google Place Map. And uh, you can have your students do that, or you could do it. But either way, you're going to come up with a great map at the end. All right. Thanks.